I've actually had a few questions lately about how to add a QR code graphic as a tiled element in a map. There's probably a lot of different ways to do this, but here's how I would do it. I just did a quick search for QR code generators online and I found this one. This looks okay. So I'll paste in my URL and it immediately shows the QR code for this URL. The longer the URL, the more complex the graphic. So keep it short or use a shortener and I'll just test it with my phone here and it works. So I'll download the result as an SVG. You could save it as a PNG. I'm going to do an SVG. It's a little bit more flexible and crisper. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro, and I've got a layer here called Global Background. It's just a big rectangle that covers everything. I use it in virtually every map I make. It's exceedingly useful. Let's open the symbology for this. Oh, by the way, I'll provide a link to this so you can download it yourself. There's a version on Living Atlas, but tiling layers from a Living Atlas service won't work. So you have to have a local version of this file. There's a link in the description below. We don't need an outline and we don't even need a fill. So let's go over to this structure and I'm gonna add a symbol layer called marker layer. And I can get rid of this and this. Just have only marker. And back here, I'll point to my file, which I've downloaded. And it is tiny. Let's make it big enough to read. I'm gonna make it 36. Turn these off. And now we go down to the marker placement area. Now, how far apart do you want to space these? That's totally up to you. Let's say you want to show one for pretty much every tile. And a tile is 256 by 256 pixels. But what is that in points? Here's a handy tool online that I like to use. I just Googled uh, pixels to points. And I'll say 256 pixels equals 192 points. So I'll just set their X and Y step to that. And let's hit apply. Now we can see through to our you know, existing base map in our project. And as I zoom in, every time it re-renders, it's always going to be 256 by 256 spacing. And let's check with our phone if I can capture this as a QR code. Come on. Yes, got it. Now you've got a ton of flexibility over how this looks. I mean, of course, I could make it a little bit bigger. The drawback being it's more obtrusive it easier to scan. That's up to you. Spacing, of course, is up to you as well. I just did a typical tile size. But you can also, because this is an SVG graphic, scalable vector graphic, change the background color and the foreground color. I'll just make them white and black for simplicity's sake. And how do we bake this into its own little tile layer? So if you were working on a base map and, you know, you had whatever layers going on here. You could include this in your base map when you tile it up. I'm just gonna tile it up all by itself. I'll remove this base map and I'm going to come into the share tab and share this as a web layer. I'm gonna publish a web layer and I'll choose vector tile. I'll give it some good enough names. Now let's look into the configuration for this. I wanna make sure that it's available globally all the way zoomed out, all the way zoomed in. I can leave these things as the default because this is what I want, the um, web mercator projection for better or worse. And let's test this. Okay, I'm gonna publish this. And we're complete. That took about one minute for me because this is a very small file sized graphic and there's nothing else here. And the geographic extent is just a big rectangle very low file size. It was just setting it up on the server. So let's check it out. And here we are in an ArcGIS online. The default base map is here, but sure enough, look at our QR codes. Watermarked dutifully replicating themselves every 256 by 256. Let me go into the base map. I'm going to switch this to imagery because that's what we're used to. And there you go. This is how you can tile it up. Let's test it. Success, we've done it. And that's how you can do it too. Have fun. Go bananas with the styles of the QR code, different colors and stuff. It's still gotta be scannable by a phone, keep testing, but have a good time with this. It's a way of splattering your watermark all over this map and that way everybody knows where they're supposed to go if they scan it.